Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Whenever you have a chance to listen to this video, I'm the Mighty One Angel Snub Nub Seven. And this, of course, is another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth. These few minutes, I would like to take the time to attempt to answer a question that was brought to us last night on a live stream while we were having a conversation on our brother channel, Tahaka Bay, Morris World TV, shout out to uh, Tahaka Bay, Morris Town, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying Morris Town, Morris World TV uh, citizen, <clears throat> shout out to the platform for giving us the honor of being able to come there and discuss various topics. Our topic from last night was examining some of the odd beliefs in the black conscious community and we began the discussion with Nation of Islam uh, teachings. However, our favorite faceless troll who has not learned a lesson yet <laughs> but that's because they don't show their face so they don't feel embarrassment they don't feel the shame so they hide behind a picture and they can handle it because nobody can see their face and say hey that's the person that got <laughs> slammed last night, got embarrassed by so-and-so. Now, this troll got beat up, got smashed by Sister Nandy two times. This troll hasn't learned nothing. But that is all right because it's going to keep coming to the point where the troll itself is just an embarrassment. They're going to have to get rid of that channel and come back as a faceless something else. But you can't change the voice. And you can't change the style. So everybody going to still know who you are. But the question that was brought to our attention was, when is this Mississippi campaign going to start? What you going to do? Now here's a person that does not care, been listening to what we have to say since the inception or since the introduction of the Mississippi campaign 2018. They have a they they know what it's about. But they have no program, they have no plan, they have no vision. So the attempt is to blast and see, what they have done, has been done and doing, and this is not to say it has not had any success, but it cannot heal, it cannot heal the problem of the once called Negro in America. If it could, we would be in a better position today. The Mississippi campaign is more than just economics. The Mississippi campaign is about healing, about motivation and inspiration, about the transformation from what we are now into a better life form Also, the ability to liberate yourself from an oppressor and have the honor, and you should have the right, to seek 
your own destiny. Your own independence. You should have, and every human being has that right. So when is this supposed to get started? That's the question. It gets started when the people want it to get started. The first step for us that understand, we must let the people know about this option. And of course, this Operation Exodus Mississippi, as we have explained countless times, this is a behavior, this is, a, this is an activity that our ancestors was doing right after the Civil War. They were uh, building small towns and cities and they were taking different various office, offices in the South. And of course, we had a very high population in the South and we were progressing. And this was, this we were just doing this naturally as a people, as a citizen moving in the country. The races had to stop such advancement. And so they began a terror campaign which hindered such progress, which stopped such progress, which caused the flight. And our people start leaving the South because they didn't want to get killed because of this discrimination, because of the Jim Crow laws. So we exited the South to the Northeast, the North, the West, and that stopped an activity that we call Operation Exodus Mississippi. We put a name on it, but that's what they was doing. Anyway, the only thing we're doing is bringing it up to date and put a name on it. And Mississippi was chosen simply because of being the path of least resistance. Also, it would be ironic that the most terroristic state, the most horrific state that did so much to hurt black American soul brothers and sisters, it's so ironic that we would be able to turn around and take control of that state and make it our own. The first step is to promote. How can people make a choice or think about or discuss about something they don't have any idea about? So the first step that the troll has not helped us to do is promotion. It also must be understood we're not trying to open up a lemonade stand. We're not even trying to develop Microsoft or a nuclear power plant. We're wanting to take control of a state. Two, two or three people can't do that. A hundred people can't do that. We need the cooperation, the resources, and the help, and the brain power of us as a people, a good percentage of the 40 million. You don't expect to get help, of course, from the whole 40 million, but you need to have a good population because this is going to take of course, money is going to take brain power. I've never taken control of a state. I have no idea. But once the people decide, it's not about me. It's for the people. If the people are offered this option and the people decide, eh, I don't want to do that. Hey, that's stupid. That's on them. We're not saviors we're not messiahs you got something better then do it but you've been doing whatever you've been doing for over 100 years and the job has not gotten done what is very clear is that the black man so brothers and sisters in this country we are far behind we have people right off the boat that is 
progressing faster than we are. And we have been here going on 500 years. Within recent times, we cannot keep blaming the white man. We have lots of money, education, the resources. We have everything. There's no reason for us to be in the position that we find ourselves in. And if you want to stay in this condition, that's your business. It's, it's not up for me. Look, what am I going to do? It takes money, takes time. Why should I sacrifice my time? First of all, me personally, I'm not healthy anymore. I'm an older person. I'm, I'm immune uh, compromised. I can't travel. I can't do those things I used to do when I was a young person. So whatever I do, I'm basically risking my life to go out into the public, call myself traveling. For what? For a bunch of people that would do to me like they do Malcolm, make Margaret Malcolm X, Dr. King, for whatever reason. Because none of us, to my knowledge, none of us have risen to the level of their pinky, the nail on their pinky. So who are you to judge Malcolm or Dr. King or any of our people prior to ourselves? You're, you're the do-nothing generation. So of course I understand why you have a problem with Operation Exodus Mississippi. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of sacrifice. Even just to talk about doing something like this, you're going to catch hell. But what I'm telling you, what other vision, what other plan that we have is offering the benefits I've never taken control of a state. I don't have no idea. That's why we need the, 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 the brain power of all of us. I don't know how to build roads. I don't know nothing about farming. I don't know about infrastructure. All these different things. We have all these skills as a people. And if you truly want power, if you truly want influence, this action can give it to you. And it's much easier than you think. Also, it is very stupid to come out on YouTube and tell your enemy and the people everything that you plan or want to do because just like this troll, they are out here wanting to see you fail because they're not going to help you. Many of these persons that I talk about, I actually will help. When I talk about the Nation of Islam, Minister Farrakhan, I gave him nine years. What kind of time, what kind of money, what are you going to give me? Give us in this effort of Operation Exodus Mississippi, except run your mouth and tell us how we're going to fail, how it's a pipe dream, how it's not going to work. I've actually helped many of these people that I talk about, gave a donation, helped them. Now, why don't you do the same for me? You're not going to do it. And the sad thing is because we want the credit. We don't want and we feel bad because what we're doing is not good enough. And that's what this troll is about, following me around. That's what this is about. Because it wants, it wants to be who we are. 